Okay, so good day. Uh, this is a tutorial to demonstrate sample GSD program to read the database from an Oracle Tenji Universal Edition. Okay, so this is what I am going to do is to open uh, NetBeans. We'll create a project. I will name it as let's see employee display record for example the next I have two servers installed in my NetBeans one is a Tomcat and the other one is a Glassfish uh, I think uh, the one running in my NetBeans is Tomcat so I choose this one next then finish alright so basically this is the project what I need to do is to connect first a database the Oracle database in my NetBeans so that I will create my program so you go to database uh, I will remove this first so this will be connected okay. so there is the driver for Oracle so I remove this one so that I will demonstrate you how to connect okay. so first is right click then call new driver uh, this driver is downloaded from the Oracle website www.oracle.com uh, you choose uh, the Oracle that you are using if it's an XE or edition or express edition or 11G uh, there is a driver that you can download okay then open then okay so you will notice here there is a Oracle theme okay uh, before I connect a database I have to create first my database in Oracle so what I'm going to do is to show you, explain you first the schema that I have created here in the notepad. So the receipt connect system oracle. The system oracle is the uh, system, this default uh, system administrator or system default for oracle. So I am going to use a student user account. So I will I need to drop first so that make it sure that there will be no other student user student in this. Uh, computer so create user stored identified by Oracle this means this is the username this is the password then I have I need to ground connect resources create table create sequence screens trigger to store user student and after that if uh, we are I am going to connect now student to Oracle so this is connected then I will show you how I did this so there is it I have three tables a department table with three fields department number department name location then another one is table employee employee number and name position dip department number then the last one is salary salary id and no basic pay honorarium and cost of living allowance or cola so before you move on to the next part i would like to explain you first this one so dip no number constraint prime dip pk as primary key so dip no is the primary key of this table then after that I need to create a sequence uh, the purpose of this is to uh, generate a na auto number for deep no which means you are not going to input the value for deep no so this is a this is the syntax for that okay. then uh, the same is true with this now the difference of em employee table to department is that I need to reference deep no here which is the same as the deep note, the primary key of the department, such that all records that I need to input here uh, must have must must be um, found in the department table, so that it will remove an anomaly in case you add an employee without a department. The same is true with salary. I need a reference. I need you need to reference imp no here in such a way that you identify that in employee before you input the salary then uh, then the next one I temporarily insert four records okay insert into department values accounting value insert into employee values null one de la course manager okay so this is if look at this one two three four and uh, there are four elements here okay so this is the uh, schema that I have created in order to run this I save this in drive D so this is it in, dri in my drive D so you go to SQL you run first my ELS SQL okay. 
so system oracle orcn uh, then after that run the colon employee that is qn okay connected graph user then there is no problem all swell so if you look or not it select asterisk from department or describe department there are three fields describe employee all right there are four fields describe salary then select asterisk from salary so what we are going to do now is to create a program in JSP to display the content of uh, uh, the, 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 the content of employee based on department okay so that's, that's it I'll close this one we'll go to it means so I need to create connect alright so use with service name uh, what will be the local host port number so what you are going to do now since you have already installed your oracle you check first the tns name so you go to drive c okay so oracle is installed here product 10g db and uh, i think network i have installed the network then um, admin then tns names okay so here the host is 192.161.100 orcl is the name port is 1521 so these are the things that i need to put here uh, okay host 192.168.1.100 port 1521 service name orcl oh. then username is student oracle is the password we click this for the same okay Say all right. So that's it. If you look at that. Oh, this is it. Okay. Uh -huh. That is the student. All right. Tables. There is it. View. View data. Yeah. That. Uh, yeah. These are three records. Really important. Okay. So what we are going to do is to display the record for this. Uh, make sure that my server is working. Ah, okay. I had to restart this because I'm using Tomcat. Okay. Then after that, you go to. I have already connected it. So what you are going to do now is I will modify my index. But before you move on to that, you need to attach the ORCL in the library okay so it's not working it's here so right click add jar files you attach also the one that you have attached or equally before the connection so open okay so that's it all right so what i'm going to do i've already created a notepad for this okay I'll close this one I'll close this one So first I need to create an import connection. Right. So there is it. Uh, which means uh, you need to import uh, I need to use SQL. I think you take it for the meantime it's not being used for this simple program but anyway I already included it. And after that you include oracle.gdbc driver.oracle. Uh, you can remove this if you are using Tomcat you may or may not uh, sometimes it works if there is a problem you need to remove it okay. so and after that in the body of this alright um, I have included I'll try to check oh yeah I did some my CSS here CSS okay. so I uh, there is a CSS here file you can create your CSS is file. How will you do it? Is right click, new. All right. If you cannot found here others, uh, then you go to add others, and there is a cascaded style sheet. The next, then you can create. Anyway, I already created it, so no problem for that. 
So this is my CSS. So you need to incorporate this. So I will just copy and paste my connection. First is this is how you connect the style sheet style my CS6. Um, for the meantime, I don't know if this is wrong. Try to check. We try to run first uh, to check if it's working. While waiting for it to run. To run I will just paste some of the commands that I have created already here. Okay, so uh, yeah, since uh, we are working with the simple program first and they lower the page, so that's it, it's working. Now, uh, I need to create a connection. So connection that con driver that connection manager. This is the one that you need to use to connect it to your uh, database. So GDBC that Oracle that Sync uh, that uh, 102.168 is the host local host. Uh, sometimes if you, you are using Windows XP, sometimes or with XP edition you replace this to uh, local host then ORCL. Then this is my username and then the password or if you cannot identify this one you have already connected this while ago so this is it okay so if you click that gdbc oracle thing at 192.168.1.100 so that's it and after that i need to create a statement connect con dot create statement so my goal here is to display the department number in a combo box and after that after choosing the department list all employees under that department okay so form so first thing you need to create a form for method post so choose employee department select department name department so this it begin so while r is that next which means uh, the r is now points to the records executed by this SQL statement select deep name uh, i'm i'm going to display the department name only in a combo box so use this SQL. so you name the, your select name or the drop down combo box name is department so while r is that next com deep combo gets r is that uh, get string one uh, you are using the one column only so you just one put one in option you print now in a combo box and end. then click on submit all right so after that we are going now to create create a code to validate uh, the the if you click on submit you validate uh, the department you found in the combo box so Uh, string try why is it there's a problem okay. Copy. Okay. try you need to use try and catch here to watch possible error so strings the r1 request that get parameters department which means all right the, the combo box which contains all the result of this one if you select the a value found in the combo box, that value will be the result of this. So, for example, if I choose an accounting department, then that will be the value of str1. So, under this, you try to create an SQL statement. So, it says here uh, string SQL1. This is the variable for this uh, for that will hold the string. Uh, select e dot imp no comma e dot imp name comma e dot position comma d dot name from 
employee E, which means E, if there is an E, that means uh, that is an alias of employee table. If there is a D, that is an alias of department table. Then for E that deep no gets D that deep no and D that deep no is equivalent or is equal to ECR1. What is ECR1? The value of ECR1 is the one that you have chosen, uh, choose or click in the combo box. Then R is now false. You execute this SQL statement. Then uh, we need to create a table first so that at least there is a table for it to imp number employee name position department and after that you create now I'll create now a loop uh, while r is that next begin r is that get string one that will hold the imp, imp no r is that is string two they will go to the imp name r is that is string three will get the department position then get string four uh, d name then that's in catch that's it so we'll try run it I hope it's working okay so if I will choose IT in click submit uh, the receipt uh, we try to check our oracle uh -huh. okay so the receipt so let us raise from department so if accounting is one okay so select as race from employee i'm uh, making sure that there is one record oh wow, what happened accounting no 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 department number is one it should be two no i think i did not choose what is Diko kilala here Diko kilala is uh, three i'm sorry so i choose uh, if i choose accounting then submit there are three, yeah. If I just say it's one, okay. That's one. So, okay. So, this is a simple program to demonstrate you how to read a uh, database or records in an Oracle database through GSP. Okay, this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for this. Is just a sample tutorial, by the way. <laughs> Thank you for uh, viewing this, and I hope you like it.